Uh, the first job I did, wow, if I can remember, um, I think my elder brother, Mr. Ifan Yokoe, um, he had a child education for his family. His child, that, yes, that was the first job in Australia. I did a clothes for him and his family. Had, wow, it was a huge turn up. Like the clothes really, really made a lot of sense. I, I got so many calls from there. I think that was, a, that was the first job I did that actually started blowing me to so understand. My name is Chuchu Koye. I'm the CEO of Bustard's Apparel. Keep watching Fashion Hub on Leo TV 042. Uh, my first internship was after school, after uni. I decided to like push further. Mm, so I met my boss, Mr. Chuku Sebastian. He put me through, started working together, and I learned a lot. Especially his finishing, creativity, customer care relationship, the way we package and deliver. It was awesome. It was amazing. It's, it, it's a very good experience that one could actually tell about. I first realized when I was in school, University of Abuja, I started making outfits of combination of materials for myself, my family, friends, classmates, and from there the passion started growing to a greater height and thank God we are still moving. Social media plays a whole lot of roles in fashion industry because one, that's where you bring out your work, your creativity, you explore, you reach out to people that are both far and way beyond where you are. Other countries get to see your work. Just the hypeness of the whole thing on the, your Instagram page, your Facebook, Twitter, your WhatsApp, it has a whole lot of role to play. I think that's the major places most of us that are fashion designers get to like express our work very well, like for people to see what we do and how we do them. So I think social media has a whole lot. I think it has almost 70% of the rule if I should be asked. Uh, the difference between fashion work now, from when I started um, to date, to me, I think the combinations we create today is way, way better than where I started. Mixing of colors, the finishing of trade works recently is quite unique and professional nowadays than when we started reaching out. So I think that's just the difference between the, the uniqueness of the combination of materials. The biggest fear, well, well the biggest fear uh, I think I had was the competition in the fashion industry. Because then, when I was actually coming up, I saw a whole lot of designs that I was like, how would I kill it? But notwithstanding now, I think I'm going into it because that competition, I turned it to be as a hobby because it also helped me in bringing out the best. And I think the best is not actually yet out in me. I'm still bringing out bit by bit, going on daily basis. But the level I am now, I think I've gotten to a certain level that I know I, I, I do things that people babble when they see I create designs of my own. I think that was the competition and the fear. My favorite part of being a fashion designer is making signature wears. But we do other, cl uh, other clothes like that. We do suits, we do shirts, pants, and so forth. But the signature outfit, one, it represents Igbo tradition very well, and it gives a very nice fitting to every young person or every young guy or young lady, especially mostly the dual patterns of the curve that makes you look outstanding. The finishings only, it's, yeah, for me, I think Sinatra outfit, but with the others, but Sinatra outfit, I think that's my favorite part because I like putting those Sinatras based on how I'm an Igbo person, I, like to bring up my own tradition. 
So I think Sinetto is the favorite part for me in fashion industry. Amazing. I think that should be the part I'm actually waiting for. The feelings I get, or let me use the word, like the response and recommendations I get from work. I think the first clue that gave me a recommendation was my able engineer, engineer Oke okay, Izago. The first time I made an outfit for him, he, he was like, are you sure he's going to deliver to an extent? Then when I bought the wares, he was marveled. And till date, I, 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 can't, I can't believe the number of clients I've gotten from him, both Reverend Fathers, his associates, his colleagues. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I think that's the best part of my storyline when I'm thinking about fashion line. The recommendation and the outlook he actually gets from people when he comes out for an occasion. The smartness that the clothes give him, I think that's the best part of it for me. My short term goal, I think making more than 20 senator outfits in a week, I think it's, it's, it's my short term goal because it's going to be a challenge to me to improve in everything I do. So, like, yes, that's my short term, making more than 20 senator outfits in a week. How I see myself, um, how I see myself in the next five to ten years. I have big dreams and I have a whole lot to accomplish. I would like to have a showroom in the whole federation all over Nigeria. Then also have another part of it outside Nigeria. Those started delivering outside Nigeria to clients overseas. But I have big dreams of having a display outskirt uh, out for it that will deliver, will showcase, do uh, shows, runway shows, adverts, and the rest. Yeah. Do you know masters can actually change your wardrobe, give you designs you've never seen before? So why not give it a try? And at the same time, Keep watching Fashion Hub on Liu TV 042.